troll sex. This is my wig tutorial. Enjoy. So, for the base of Vulgin's wig, I used an Erda wig called the Suzy Classic. It's a lace front with a widow's peak and some really, really fluffy, thick wefts up in the top. This was perfect because I was able to divide it up and then tease it to make a fucking rockin' mohawk. I am still ridiculously new to styling wigs, and this was just kind of a, an, an adventure in its own, but everything that you're seeing I'm doing right here, I learned from Twinsic Cosplay. If you go to their YouTube channel, they have a really good tutorial on how to add volume to wigs. I used that tutorial, so I will put the link down below for you guys to check it out. Once I had finished separating the hair, I went back in with a teasing brush, and I just teased it and then retied it, and went back and forth and reteased it, reteased it, reteased it, retied it. If you check out their cosplay tutorial video, you'll see that it's mostly just teasing and giving your wig a nice, solid, sturdy, teased base to give your hair some lift. Tease that shit to the heavens! All the way up! The best thing that I have found, and a lot of other cosplayers have found, to style wigs is got to be glued hairspray. All you do is you spray it on, and then you take a hair dryer and you heat it before it's able to flop down and lose its shape. Ryan actually came in and showed me how to do this part too, because apparently he used to have a really hardcore mohawk, <laughs> which I find hilarious and oddly erotic. Just a lot of heating and shaping and holding for this part. I was really worried about the, about the, what's it called in the jungle when it's kind of wet in the air? Moisture. Humidity. I was worried about humidity. That's okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wanted my Vulgin to have some extra dreads with beads, etc. in it, so I looked up some dreading tutorials and I found one for synthetic wig hair that was done by Alice and Tabitha. It's actually in her Captain Jack Sparrow wig tutorial. All you do is you take some excess wig hair, some glue or paste, and you start to twist it and then you use heat to kind of melt the synthetic fibers into place and almost kind of just melt it into this long, sticky hair wad. It ends up looking pretty realistic and I was really happy with the results. For the other dreads, those are just rolled wool roving with soap and hot water and then dyed a red to match the wig. I will link in the description. I really wanted my Vulgin wig to be the centerpiece of this whole costume, so I added some hair clips of a different shade all throughout the wig. Um, I got these ones from either, I think, Ardo or Epic Wigs, but you could probably find some cheap ones on Amazon too. Before I glued or sewed in the dreads, I pinned them to the mannequin head and I was fucking happy with how it looked. I then realized I wanted more volume in my mohawk, so I separated the hair and then started sewing in extra wefts into the top. This was just a cheap wig I got on Amazon that I cut up and just butchered for the sake of Vulgin. I followed Twinzik's tutorial by using a curved leather needle that was really easy to sew those wefts up into the top of the wig. I took some of that extra wig that I had butchered and just sewed it into the back to make the mohawk continue all the way down to the nape of my neck. First time trying it on! I made little foam base ears just to kind of see how everything would look with them and I was really happy, okay? The dreads and braids looked a little plain so I just added some little fakie bones, beads, and feathers. Then I just took that same curved leather needle and sewed them into the into the wig, into the wig wefts, wig, wig base things. I forgot to record it. Oh fuck you, Discord! I forgot to record it, but I then airbrushed the roots with a darker red to make it look more realistic. And that's it. That's my Vulgin wig hair tutorial process thing. I'll put all the links down below for all the things I used. I wouldn't have been able to do it without the tutorials that other cosplayers have provided. So thank you, and thank you so much for watching. I have a great day.